this one. And oh, please I was, don't let it be a void caller that goes terribly wrong. I, I was hoping for Tice to not start with Hunter since I recently saw him not starting with Hunter. You don't even have a webcam? I don't even have a webcam. I don't even have Are cards. You kidding me? My file got corrupted completely. Or I actually had the VLC recording, which Timo isn't able to uh, com compile into a cor correct file. So you're going to see Ty's point of view, how he's going to do there against me. It's already looking good for him. I mean... It is. <laughs> that's like, you, you got you got your snake trap or your freezing trap, something like that, or an explosive. And then there is a 100 Creeper followed up by a Hunt Master next turn. That's just super annoying. Ouch. This is not looking good for you. You're playing handlock? You think I'm playing handlock. Maybe maybe it's just not something. Zoo with the worst <laughs> draw of all time. <laughs> worst draw in the planet. That's just you you're getting swarmed the first uh, two turns, three turns. If that happens to you, that's like always the worst case scenario, whatever you play. It, it doesn't matter which deck you're running, if the hunter is able to put four minions on the board so early. And with all death rattle minions. And with the huntmaster follow up especially. That's just devastating. I hope you're just building up for some epic comeback here. <laughs> Sounds like a genius plan. I uh, mean, Coin Hellfire would be really cool now. Uh, it would clear the board, and there is no Huntmaster play possible. Well, as a 1 1, he gets an additional beast and a secret. So. Yeah, that's the problem with all that stupid Death Rail stuff. He gets. Every time from every minion, he gets something. Imagine you would play Baron Rivendaya in Hunter. That would be even funnier. Mad Scientist into Rivendaya, I never saw that happening, but it would be pretty funny. Would be a lot of secrets played. I, I want to play the Web Spinner Rivendaya plays where you just get two beasts. Sounds like an epic plan. So we got Tice waiting for some plays from me. I was actually playing this time from home and trying to focus a lot on the game. Well, that seemed to be working out. It seemed to be working out. Or I'm just doing the VI here or the Strife Pro, not hovering over any cards, not revealing any of your thought process just there. Just petting your dog. I, I'm not even sure if the video file didn't stop right now. It seems like the smoke ain't moving. I think T Timo broke the video file. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. I think the, the video file is just stuck correct. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna just start it from the file. I don't even know why we started it right there. So Kevin is our pr producer is up to date and give me a second we get that one and we're just gonna check if I hope Ty's file ain't corrupted too. That that would be like worst worst case scenario. Nah, it should be fine. Yeah, let's let's go forward a bit and see if uh oh uh oh. Uh -oh. Everything oh no. Yep. We we know where the problem is, so the the first game file was... Well, you can tell us about the first game, since we I, cannot show it. What happened? What happened in the first game? You you really want to know that? Yes. Uh, let's first of all see, okay, the second file is okay, running. Okay, basically, you got crushed, since we have <laughs> yeah. Hunter Mirror. So That's basically, I got crushed. It was a deck with White Carlos, as you say, but it was average handlock deck. Just with Sludge Belcher and instead of the... I know there were Twilight Drake also in. I just substituted uh, Void Carlos in uh, to... Four. to uh, I'm not entirely sure. I think I dropped the Mountain Giants just uh, to get... Mountain uh, Giants. Mountain Giants. In a handlock. In a handlock. And I mean, you get Sludge Specials also. And you got your Molten Giants in the end. And I don't know why this is happening. <laughs> Kevin is just super bored. He says, <laughs> well, I only have two weeks left here, so I might as well just go crazy. <laughs> Let's crash the show and, and try to do something with a very blurry he's, camera picture. He's like the worst camera guy <laughs> of all time. But he tried. We, we have to give the efforts to that. Okay, now we're going to go serious again since the people want to <laughs> see a game. And we get Tice versus myself the second. And our producer is just walking back to his spot there. And going yes, crazy. it's the same Kevin as on the main channel. <laughs> yeah, it's the same Kevin. Maybe uh, he, he's, he's not doing what he does normally. He sleep, was just messing around during Starcraft with the camera. casts. Something it's fine. Like that. So now we have a Hunter Mirror. <laughs> it's fine. You, 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 <laughs> got, you got crushed in the first one. Yeah, I Nobody had first. to witness that. And it, now we see Hunter Mirror. It's, it's better than this, I have to say. And we're playing Hunter versus Hunter. And first card is a zombie shell on my side, being really valuable in this match to just trade that stupid stuff Tice is throwing at me. And you want to yell now, why the frigging hell is there a... Why is there a zombie chow? <laughs> in there. That makes in a no... Hunter deck. That makes no freaking sense, correct? At least we all know you build the deck yourself. 
Because no one else is playing a zombie <laughs> no shell in Hunter. That. But it's great if you consider uh, the zombie shell is just good for trading. You put it down turn one and it can actually damage that stupid minion quite a lot. And the heal doesn't matter early on. If you draw turn one or turn two, you don't care about this. Five heal. That is true. Whatever. Just great. And there is Huffer to trade just in time. But it's looking, I don't know, not so cool. Like the, how is it called? The Undertaker early on is always so much pain, especially if he goes up to three, four early on. Th that's just huge pain. Is he going for the face? I would, yeah. You, you would go for the face, absolutely. If that would have been a Leoc, for me, it would have been way better. I could have killed that minion without losing my stuff. And it would have been cool. And there's a trigger of an explosive trap. So you get rid of that one, but you're facing one hell of a stupid Leoc. So I expect that being a freezing. No, don't spoil that. It's probably explosive trap too. Nah, it's probably explosive trap. So many freezing traps for both players. And I think the freezing trap is definitely what you need to play. I mean... If he has a flare, okay, then the move didn't work out. But you get rid of a Leoc, and the Leoc is like five cost. The only problem is two minions on the board. So yeah, Leoc next turn is going to be four damage. Uh, that sucks quite hard. Let's see. Steady shot. Steady shot, doing nothing. Just end turn. I can tell you it was the wrong play. I was getting greedy on my hand cards. Uh, I could have done something better to actually clear the board since I knew he had the Leoc. So you know he's going to deal four damage next turn. And I was gra just grabbing my head and like, why are you so freaking stupid and just did that? Please. Are you at Unleash or what? Are you going to see that if I have Unleash or not? Yeah, you have Unleash and probably to Mo Wolf as well. I could have done that last turn. Like, you, you go Unleash only on two minions, but you avoid taking the four damage. I think that would have been slightly smarter yeah. since you force him to actually kill your uh, buzzard, and if he's not able to kill it, it's really good for you. You have Anders Mark. I yep. have Anders Mark. So he got a web sooner from a web sooner, which is super annoying, especially I, I got two, one, two one, one, one minion, and he can go like buzzard, undertaker, web spinner, which, which is establishing a great board in the end. Yeah, but he's not able to get rid of your buzzard. Yeah, that's correct. But that's a given. That he cannot get rid of it. So second unleash would be really cool. And Leroy Jenkins, he was hoping for uh, he was hoping for unleash. an unleash himself, and that's why he couldn't get his minion buffed up in the end. Seven mana, for me. What could there be? Like Lothab is always a possible thing, I guess. And well, you can clear the board, which is great, especially if you have two more bees. That would be just absolutely crazy. Or Savannah Highman now. I mean, it's a turn six thingy. The only the, like the problem is uh, his web sprinter is going to survive if you play Savannah high main, yep. and therefore he can't hunt us mark down the high main, which is pretty annoying. And you always have to consider mm. if there is a freezing trap, you're you kind of screwed with that play. It's true. I mean, could, could be worse. The cool thing with the web sprinter is if you get a one one drop, you can even draw another card. Animal companion first. Okay. And then Just throw down a freezing. Makes sense. Yeah, and then do not trade because you get the freezing trap, which is a cool play. You get 5, 11, you get already 13 damage rolling, so it's like two more turns and you already won the game. Leroy into freezing. You're such a smarty. And what else would you do? You then really... unleash Hunter's Mark, win the game. Don't spoil everything. Huntmaster uh, is way cooler to put out there and just demolish the minion. I mean, you're going to lose your guy, but you just killed the Freezing Trap. And yep. I think that was so important to actually get rid of it. And he he cannot kill your board. I mean, even with a Hunter's Mark, he can kill one. And then there are two two twos. Oh, wow. Core Hound. I, I never knew he had that one. Core Hound is always so much pain. He's actually putting that one out. Yeah, but it's also in kill command range. <laughs> it's also lame. Just it's, having... It's, it's not lame. It's just... And That's just super effective. Ty's going for the damage. Exactly what we want to see here. I mean, he's so close to lethal. Uh, there's a freezing trap. You saw the one explosive trap already going off. And I'm wondering if you actually have a flare. A flare would be extremely useful. I know there are two flares in the deck, but yeah. I'm wondering if I'm, ha I'm, if I'm having flare too. 
But the second Unleash Buzzard helps quite a lot. I mean, ah, back just, to 10 just cards. A little bit. The thing is, you kind of need a taunter. You only have three turns left. And there are no more secrets. So if there is another Huntmaster, it would be really great because you're just going to avoid the high amount of damage. The cool thing is, you got Leroy in your hand. So oh, wow. don't forget, there's Leroy in hand. You got 7, 11, 13, 15 damage together with Leroy. You would have lethal next turn. Yep. And the funny part about this is count it. Count it. Oh my god. That's 11 damage. I, I was actually really sad for him. I mean, he had 11 damage, could have almost killed me. And um, yeah, that was an optimum. And I was really sad because, uh, yeah, look at this. He killed my buzzard. Oh, Beautiful wait. buzzard. 80 damage. Just, do you have a kill command? Uh, do I have a kill command? 10 mana, and how many cards is that? That's 10 hand cards. There That's, should be there should, should be, be something like that in your hand. The problem is you need to play a beast before you can just play kill command there in the end. But yeah, that was just double kill command. <laughs> and win the game in the end with the hunter overload and the sad ties with one damage of lethal. We we actually need the need to play the one damage of lethal thong. No, we don't. <laughs> no, we don't. So Hunter dominates over Hunter, and we're going to have a third game between Tice and me, myself, and I. What do you Play expect him to go for? Well. I would think Druid. Druid? I I actually don't know what he played, I have to admit. That that game is only a couple of days ago, and already my brain is fading. Oh! But yes, he went for Druid, but not for a normal Druid. Uh, Tice is... Uh, norm what is normal in Druid? You have to full screen it, by the way. I have to full screen it, because then it's looking now good. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. And this is a really important game. If I manage to win there, we're going to go in a final showdown. And I would definitely send Lothar in if we have a final showdown. I mean, he 2 owed his enemy. And I'm struggling here with a 1-1. One, one. And that game is really important, starting with an Undertaker, which is really amazing. But the biggest problem is a White Cross on Tice's side. Yeah, and not only Wild Grove, but the follow-up with the Zen Jeans could get really annoying. Absolutely. The cool thing is Mad Scientist, so you can go run the Mad Scientist in, get a Freezing Trap. Uh, but you kind of don't want to do that on a Senjin, especially because Tice has double Senjin Shieldmaster, which is just so much pain. And now, Hunter's Mark, please. It would be really cool. Or, like, Kill Command is a problem. You didn't put a beast down. Uh, you would be happy, happy, happy to be some, to have something cool. And my main problem is I had a 100 Creeper and I had a Kill Command in hand. Too bad. Yeah, <laughs> and I was, I was getting greedy with my minions there. So I could have gone... Should, should have played the Creeper. Uh, definitely. I, I was just going Especially completely Especially with turn 4 coming up. Yep. That was a big misplay. That was a big misplay. And I saw it exactly the same <laughs> because I saw that card in my hand. I was like... <laughs> and the biggest problem is uh, I knew he could have something like a Wrath or a Keeper of the Grove. So I instead of playing the Trap... I should have just ran in my minion, and therefore he couldn't kill my other minion with his Keeper of the Grove. So if you ran in your Secret Keeper, it would have been more beneficial, especially if you have a 3 damage kill command now. Then you, you, just you mean the Mad Scientist, of course. The Mad, uh, did I say Secret Keeper now five yes. times in a row? <laughs> yes. The Mad Scientist, of course. And because now you get the Eagle Horn Bow, and you could have killed it the last turn already, if you actually attacked there. So it, it would have been in so many ways smarter to play the first four turns different. Nice. That's why you're casting. That's why I'm casting. And I, that, that's cool to see sometimes the own games again. Actually, if you want to get better in Hearthstone, it helps to record your own games, watch them, and even see the Definitely tiny does. mistakes afterwards. Yeah. Okay, there is another Senjin Shieldmaster, which is super annoying, especially because, yeah... There is going to be turn 7, the Ancient of Lore coming. But the good part is you have a Eaglehorn Bow, and that deals quite good damage. And turn 5, that is always the Lothar turn, or, I don't know, a Web Spinner Huntmaster turn, which is also always great. The only problem is we got a Black Knight against us. Kai, Black Knight's so annoying. Yep. I think it's just like a really nice choice, the Ram Druid of Thais. Yeah, absolutely. 
if you know the version of Hunter your enemy is playing and you ramp up really hard, like if you don't get your wipe, imagine he didn't get the wipe crows, it would have been worse for him. Like turn four and I would have already such a great board and now the Black Knight plus the Zombie Shao totally demolishing this. And you cannot see that, but I, I what the fuck to <laughs> for we're doing this. He just replies with hashtag wrecked. Yeah, the thing is, we're, we're good friends, so it makes no difference. Uh, that trolling is not meant serious in any way. And the problem is, you're running out of cards. It's like being down to, yeah, six mana, three cards is never good. You need a kind of buzzard and stuff to win this game, especially with Tice's domination here of big minions. I mean, you have to run the low sap in next turn to kill, and then there's still a 4-5 Black Knight, which was always always the great thing about the Black Knight. He not instant values a Taunter down. He's yeah. also a buddy on the board, which is just pain. Just a Yeti for six mana that destroys a Taunt. I'm, I'm missing the Yeti, I have to say. Back in the days when we had the Yeti, that was really cool. With such a nice fella. Okay, there is the play of Tice where he could silence my minion to actually uh, next turn kill it with a swipe, for example. Or just go for another Ancient of Lore, Sunwalker Sludge Belcher. So there, there are quite a lot of plays. I mean, he can silence and Sludge Belcher, which would be, in the end, a goodie. Yeah, but then he also has three minions on the board. Yeah, that's a problem. Uh, if he plays a Sunwalker, might even be the smartest play in the end. Like, he could, I think, the smartest play would be running the Death Knight in, uh -huh. silencing your Hyena, and, and then swiping, swiping the face. face. Could be possible, but you kind of don't want to lose your Death Knight. I mean, not, not necessarily... Of course, you have all the follow-up you need. Yeah, but You're you running out of cards, and you only give him one minion to unleash on. I know and no beast mean? on the field. Like, that's... I think that would have been the best play there. And now, there's going to be the card draw map. Or not? It depends. There's just an unleash without a buzzard, which hurts a lot, because if you have to unleash with so few cards on the hand, you're kind of screwed and cannot do a lot. Hell command. No, Houndmaster. Are you sure? Or am I just fooling around with my hand cards? Thinking about hunters marking my own minions like a bows. Seems to be the most obvious thing to do in this situation. trade there and I can tell you that I I had a hunter's mark in my hand or no I, it was a kill command and I could have kill commanded away the sun worker instead of playing the hunt master and therefore you would have had a quite healthy savannah high main and that was a question would that better like if you had a 6-5 savannah high main you he would still have to run in his black knight and therefore you are only facing that stupid 2-4 minion in the end. So if actually kill commanded, the board clear would have been way better because now you have a kill command, but you're killing a Black Knight with only two HP. You could have killed already before. Yep. So the value would have been way higher with the kill command. And that was a really great misplay. Funny in when end. in hindsight, you realize a lot of stuff that you misplayed. Oh, I noticed that while I did it. That was the, that was the, that was the annoying part about it. One turn later, it was already like, hmm, maybe but, I should have done it smarter. In general, you, you're playing really, really fast. Well, but that that wasn't the problem there. The problem was there. Do you really want to have like your minion on low HP, or you want to keep the kill command maybe for mm. face damage? I haven't seen mm. his uh, keeper of the grove, and the thing is, I knew he had one keeper in the hand, and that's why I should have played it different. I also had a hunter's mark. And as you see, in the end, that ends up in a kill command. Nice. On, on Leroy Jenkins. On Leroy. <laughs> that poor guy. Totally get demolished. Lost to a total overload of minions. But even if you reconsider, I might have done that different.